Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. If that's so, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. There's a lot of college content hopefully coming soon. I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my backpack for freshman year of college. This is what my backpack looks like. It is just this gray quilted Vera Bradley bag. This is the small version of their backpack. My friend Caitlin has the bigger version and both of them work for us. So I think either one, just your personal preference. So let's start with the outside pocket. I have this umbrella because I don't want to be caught in the rain, pretty self-explanatory. This pocket will usually have my water bottle in it, which you'll see in my first day of college vlog that will be posted two Sundays from now. And next Sunday is going to be my move-in vlog. So very exciting things happening. But anyways, in this first <laughs> zipper pocket, I don't have anything in it. I usually, when I'm walking, if it starts to rain or if I don't have a pocket or something, I'll put my phone in this pocket just by itself so it doesn't get scratched or anything. This next pocket looks like this on the inside, so like the normal backpack pocket area. And so just in the big thing, I have this pack of Kleenex and then my phone charger. I will also be putting my laptop charger in here. The next thing in this little rectangular pocket right here, I have a chapstick. This is the Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean one, which is my absolute fave. I have these headphones. I also have my AirPods in here. I usually use my AirPods, but if something is running low on battery, I'll just use the normal headphones so I can let it charge. Next, I have this tiny little deodorant, just in case, you know, you forget, things happen. So I kept one in here. Let's do this big, huge pocket now in the little built-in laptop portion. I have my laptop. I got the MacBook Air 13 inch, the 2019 version. I have a whole video about customizing and setting this up. So I will link that in the description if that's something you're interested in. The next thing I have is my planner. I got this planner from Target and if you don't use planner, I just don't know what you're doing because you need to. I like this one because my favorite color is pink. So I got this. So this one has the big monthly boxes and then the big weekly boxes. I have this black folder from Dollar Tree. Actually, whichever dollar store is actually a dollar that's where this is from. I got four of these five star notebooks. Five star is my favorite notebook brand and I always get the college ruled because the wide world is just not okay. I've already decided the blue is for Spanish, no doubt about it. White is for psych, black is for history, and gray is for English. There's just no going back on that. That is the color scheme. The next thing I have is this aromatherapy focus lotion. I've had this a long, 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 long time. They still sell it though, don't worry. Don't worry. It is this aromatherapy focus lotion with natural essential oils from Bath & Body Works. And I don't know if it's just a mind trick or it actually works, but either way, I do feel very zoned in when I use this, so I like that a lot. The last thing in this big pouch is this pencil pouch. I got this from Marshalls and I really like it. It has this little lightning bolt on it, which is pretty cute. And then once you open this first pocket, I have whiteout, which my mom thought was a very needed thing. And when you open this big pouch, that's what it looks like. Wow, crazy. I have these highlighters. They are the Glow Line Pro Marks highlighters. I really like these because they write really sharp. And then I have two of these little pencils. These are the best pencils you will ever buy. Anybody that tells you different just hasn't used this pencil, obviously. I always write in blue pen to take my notes because for some reason, I saw this thing that said, you will remember everything you write in blue pen. And so I started doing it with my vocational class last year and I literally got above 100% in the class. I don't know if it was because of the blue pen or not, but I definitely remembered everything that I learned in that class. So, blue pen. <laughs> then for my black pens, I got the Papermate ballpoint ones. Also, a tip on how to organize your pencil pouch is get all of your pens and highlighters and everything and set aside two of each. Two pencils, two blue pens, two black pens in a separate pile. Put all of the extra 
pens and pencils and all those things in the punch pouch and then get all of the ones that you set to the side and put them on the top that is all that i have in my backpack but i have some extra office supplies that i'm going to keep in my desk at school that i thought i would just show you right now too i got this big pack of pencils i got three packs of the colorful index cards i got a pack of rubber bands just to keep the index cards together and then i have these scissors i have this case with some paper clips in it. I have some tape. Then one of my biggest tips is to get an extra notebook. I'll procrastinate and we know that we need a new notebook but then we wait until we're literally on the last page and so you have to have an extra notebook on standby for when you run out of paper. All right thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration. I love watching these videos so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my move-in vlog. We gon' need a hey, hey. Shout out and I say, hey, to get it out of me, me, me. To tell you how it is, thought you'd like to hear from me. Listen to me when I'm talking, you taking that other advice. Right.